Hi everyone, thanks so much for um, coming today and we're so excited to be here and we're going to present to you a project called Unfitbits which is a revolutionary new way to think about your fitness data. So I'm Tiga Brain and this is my co-founder Surya Matu. Hi. So in the past year we've seen the emergence of what is known as a fitness data market. Um, this is the deployment of fitness trackers and um, products like the Fitbit and the Jawbone. Now, this fitness data market is where data is being collected and shared with different entities. And this is very different to how fitness data has previously been managed, where it's been just shared with the individual who's using the tracker. And so we're seeing things like corporate wellness programs, which are programs that are deploying these trackers and using this data. And these programs are being used in, by insurance companies and banks and employers and even universities. Just to give you a sense of what this looks like, John Hancock is a life insurer and they are offering discounts on life insurance if you agree to wear a tracker and you are doing about 10,000 steps per day. This is Oscar Insurance. Um, they're another health insurance company in America, and they also have a discounted premium rate if you agree to wear a fitness tracker for them. A more recent example is a university in the US called Oral Roberts University, and they just recently launched this program for their students. Years, and Oklahoma University is now making it mandatory for all freshmen to wear Fitbits. Oral Roberts University says it encourages students to stay healthy by tracking their fitness data. It even counts as part of their grades. The university includes a fitness component in its curriculum, grading students based on their level of aerobic activity. Okay, so just to note, Oral Roberts University has always collected fitness data on their students, but of course by giving their students trackers, they can get data in a much more invasive and high resolution way. Finally, over in Russia, Alpha Bank is an example of a bank that's offering clients fitness trackers. And you get higher interest rates on your savings account if you agree to wear them. We at Alpha Bank believe that real wealthy is when you're healthy. And it's known that to be healthy, you need to make 10,000 steps a day. But in a country where each individual strives harder than anybody to give the best to their homes, you need to work hard. So hard that you won't have time left for those magically health-inducing 10,000 steps. Right, so they make a good point. And this is where we started with Unfitbits. We started thinking about people who these data discount schemes might leave out. People who are confined to a desk most of the day. Perhaps people who have physical disabilities or people who don't have access to exercise facilities. Think about cab drivers, think about accountants, think about people whose, you know, maybe under-resourced workplaces don't offer standing desks. Or sleeping pods. Or sleeping pods. So we asked ourselves, could we develop a platform to disrupt the fitness market and allow everyone to enjoy these new benefits and these new financial opportunities? Is your lifestyle preventing you from qualifying for insurance discounts? Are you unable to afford active adventure holidays? Or maybe you just want to keep your personal data private without having to pay higher premiums for the privilege. Our team of researchers have devised a simple range of techniques that will allow you to free your fitness data from yourself. Free your fitness, free yourself, 
free your fitness from yourself. So since we launched about a year ago, we've also seen the widespread rollout of trackers by employers and companies and corporations to their employees, because this allows them to qualify for bulk insurance discounts. And to give you a sense of the scale at which this is happening, so these, these were all um, programs launched in 2015. BP distributed almost 25,000 trackers to their employees in North America. Target, a big retailer, the same, distributed 300,000 to their US employees. And Barclays, the big UK lender, subsidised fitness trackers to about 75,000 of their US and UK employees. It's been estimated that about 20 million trackers are going to be required to be worn by employees, um, by their employers, in, by 2018. So this is happening at scale. And so, again, we're starting to think, you know, what is it like from the perspective of the employee? What does this mean if you work a 50-hour week and then have to work out for another 10, say, to reach these goals? What does it mean if my employer knows how many hours per night I'm sleeping or how often I'm having an anxiety attack or how many times a week I'm getting laid? So Unfitbits offers you solutions to these uncomfortable questions. So really, we'd like you to think of Unfitbits as a physical API that allows you to reprogram your fitness. Our solutions have been thoroughly researched, analyzed, and optimized to let you have the fitness data set that really reflects what you feel inside about your health, not what trackers tell you you should be. It allows you to extract your maximum fitness potential, no matter what your lifestyle. And so we're just going to break down a little bit of our research process. We went through a lot of iterations. We tested out a lot of techniques, different solutions. We tried to use everyday household items to make this accessible to anyone. Um, so we tested these, and all of these solutions allow you to ready-make your data set. And like any fledgling startup, what was the first step of our process, Surya? Well, we analyzed the data, Tiga. Right. We analyzed the data. So when we started, we really wanted to get an understanding of how these trackers work. Like, what is it that they're taking in, and how are they deciding what I am doing physically? So we started looking into them and bought a bunch of trackers, and we realized that we don't actually have access to the raw data. We don't know what the sensors are collecting. The only thing we have access to is what the output of the algorithm is. So how many steps it's calculated, how many calories you've burned, and metrics like that. So the first step for us was to actually develop a small, simple, open source wearable that allowed us to see the raw data and compare that to the existing trackers and see what we could get out. So on the next slide, we have some of our experiments that we'd like to share with you. Um, on the top, you see our drill experiment, in which we were trying to see how this works when you use the drill, and the bottom is a bicycle wheel. What was really interesting about our tests was that different trackers calculated different number of steps for both solutions. So for example, the Fitbit calculated 33 steps for this experiment, whereas the Jawbone only calculated 25. And for the bicycle wheel, the Fitbit calculated 22 steps, and the Jawbone only calculated 11. When we looked into this, we realized that because these systems are proprietary algorithms that we don't have access to, they probably have different mechanisms of filtering and signal processing that allows them to come up with these numbers. So at Unfitbits, we really tried to optimize our products to work with a range of trackers so that you really get the most out of your fitness potential. So we live in really exciting times where these sensing systems and these trackers are still relatively simple. And that means there's plenty of opportunity to disrupt this emerging data market. And we are really excited that Unfitbits is the first to take advantage of this opportunity. And we're really excited today to introduce our range of desktop products. These are fitness products. They've been calibrated so that they will log steps from the point of view of the most common trackers. And they're designed for any office. So you can see they fit in really well in most workplaces. And I can hear you think, goodness, does this actually work? And so what was our next step, Surya? Well, we reanalyzed re some data, Tiga, of course. Right. So we reanalyzed the data, and we refined our mechanical algorithms just to ensure that, that they, they definitely work with most systems. Absolutely. And as you can see on this slide, we actually found in our analysis that a dampened periodic oscillation worked the best across a variety of trackers. So with this simple system, you could put practically any tracker and really get the most out of your fitness data. 
Um, this device is designed to be accessible to a variety of people, so you can adjust the length of the string according to your gender, race, sexuality, however you feel about it. And really, like, we wanted this to be something that could seamlessly integrate into almost any workplace. You could be, keep it on your desktop, you could have it in your taxi, and the ease of use of this product is absolutely fantastic. So I think we've had enough of the graphs. It's true. Does this actually work with the Fitbit app? As you can see, once you put a Fitbit on this product, the periodic motion seamlessly gets counted as a step on the app, and this really works. It truly is an innovation in fitness. It's really, really exciting. And along with that, one of the things that we really care about at Unfitbits is making our products accessible to as many people as we can. And with that, we'd like to launch our new product. This is the Smokers Edition, and it comes with a mid-century glass ashtray, and it caters to the community of smokers out there who might also want to take advantage of these fitness products. Absolutely, and I'd just like to add that our ashtrays are laser cut and digitally fabricated to really be the best materials for your smoking ash. And so these products are available on our website. They're also currently presented in an exhibition at the moment in the city at the Hakava with Tactical Tech. It's an exhibition called Nervous Systems. We have handy guides and information available there. And this Saturday, we are presenting a workshop where you can come, you know, maybe your fitness data after winter needs a little bit of attention, needs a little bit of reform, maybe you need to get it in shape. So join us for the ultimate workout where you can um, address your fitness data sets and improve them. Absolutely, we have a variety of solutions out there that you can use to really tweak your data set the way you want it to be. And so we also invite you to join us and follow our community on Twitter where we are tracking emerging trends in fashion and wearables. And so Syria, where is this going? What's happening next in so this area? live in really exciting time, Tiga. When we started this product a year ago, the only data we really had access to was motion data. Most fitness trackers were just using accelerometers and gyrometers, and all they could really track was movement. But in the last year or so, there has been an explosion in the fitness tra tracking market. We have EEGs and ECGs and pulse oximeters and a variety of different sensors that really let you personalize and characterize your fitness data the way you want it to be. So what we're seeing is we're seeing that the medical industry has discovered the cloud. Which is super exciting for us. It untaps an entire new market, which we haven't even got a chance to get into yet. Um, you also may have heard that there's been some developments on the regulation of some of these devices. Recently, uh, the Dutch Health Authority announced that employers were not allowed to make it mandatory for employees to wear... Uh, to have to wear fitness trackers because of the asymmetrical power relationship between employer and employee. And initially, our investors were a little bit concerned about this. It's true. And as we tell our investors, while this might be a slight problem in, the, in Europe, we will have absolutely no such regulation in the US. So we just see this market growing straight through second quarter 2016 all the way through to 2018. Yeah, we predict the US is probably not going to implement such regulations. Absolutely. So we want to hear from you. Our community is growing, and we're really, really excited about the future. So pre-order your freedom today. Free your fitness from yourself. Thank you. Thank you. I'll grab the computer. Questions? Oh, we're going to do questions. Any questions? <laughs> yep. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.